a much requested feature that's now implemented in Studio One Pro 7.2 is post roll and more intuitive punch in options for vocal recording and instrument recording in particular. Let me show you. So before version 7.2, it was actually pretty hard to do something like the following. Let's assume that I have the vocals already recorded for this song. And now I want to add some vocal ad libs, like some added phrases. And depending on where we decide to record these extra vocal phrases, that can be a little bit tricky. For example, here in this section, we can do auto punch exactly where the vocal is needed. But if the vocalist has to sustain a note, like here, it's very hard to just stop doing that and start the next take over because what we want to do here is take recording where we do the same phrase many times over until we have it just perfect. But yeah, that used to be very hard because we need to feature like post roll for that. What post roll does is it essentially gives the vocalist a bit of time to breathe before the take starts over. And this is now available inside of the recording options. These options are accessible in Studio One via the record panel that opens up when you click on the wrench icon here in the transport bar. And then next to auto punch, you see that there's now a post roll option that is available if auto punch is engaged. Now the post roll will also add this added loop range marker right here on the timeline, which is super useful to set the amount of room that you want to leave before the recording starts over. And this behavior is very similar to the pre roll, which was always included inside of Studio One. So post roll is the new option that we have in Studio One Pro 7.2. And together with pre roll, it's now super easy to determine where the playback kicks in, where the recording range is that would be the loop range here, and then also how much the playback continues after recording before the whole process starts over. That is really, really cool. And also notice if I set the loop range somewhere else, then the post roll or the pre roll range will adapt with that. So this is really a great quality of life improvement. Let's look at how this would be in practice. So the vocalist gets one bar to prepare. Then they can sustain the note here and they get a bit of breathing space before they can start with the next take. Right, so this is super convenient. Now they can sustain the note, catch their breath, have a bit of pre-roll and continue recording. And once we're done with this, all of the tastes will be available for us for very easy editing and comping, just like here. I love it.